Hey everyone, and welcome to another episode of Smart Tips. I'm Avi Hersenberg, Head of Partnerships. And this week we have a special episode for you. This week we're gonna talk about how you can save hours by using Ply together with SmartSuite. We're gonna get a little advanced this week, but bear with me, I break it all down. So let's take a look how. So at SmartSuite, we have this process where we track every video that was released by a partner in an internal smart suite solution so we have a track of all the partner videos that are describing our product as well as being able to correlate signups and website visits to videos released online by partners and so instead of having to go ahead and copy the url the title uh, the creator of the video and the date that the video was published what we do is something uh, much easier and simpler and so I'm going to show the process and then I'll show a little bit of the back end on how I set this up. And so uh, I have over here a video by Zach, who is one of our amazing partners who sets up SmartSuite for clients. Uh, shout out to Zach. And so he just, he, Zach publishes a weekly video about SmartSuite. And so over here, um, Zach published a video about renewals, reminders, and notification system. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to simply select the title of the video. I'm going to hit Shift Command K. And that opens up a command bar from Ply, which is the extension I have installed on my Google browser that is fully integrated with SmartSuite. I already set up this feature called Partner Video. I'm going to uh, click Partner Video. And then what happens is, is the Ply modal opens up and it automatically grabs the page URL and inserts it, it pre-fills the URL field. It also grabs my highlighted text, which in this case would be the video title and I always have the partner video as like a, a header for that title and all that's left for me to do is enter a date and I'm going to enter today's date as the 19th and I hit done now as soon as I hit done what you'll see is a new video just entered the smart suite record literally within seconds uh, and I have over here in this record I have the title of a video uh, I have a published date I have the type as partner video. I have like all the information that is always pre-filled for partner videos and it grabs the actual YouTube link, which is this YouTube video that we were just looking at. Um, and it has a title and that's it. And so uh, that's, that's all I have to do. I don't have to switch tabs. I don't have to do anything. I can simply browse YouTube. And anytime I come across a partner video, I highlight the text. I hit, um, I'll just do this one more time, Com Command Shift K partner video, select the date that it was published, hit done, and that's it. And then obviously when I'm in SmartSuite, I can start running reporting. I can start filtering by date and I can run reports on how many videos were published on a single day, on a single week, you know, what topics and so on. So let me show you a little bit about the back end on how this was set up. So Ply is a browser extension that I have running on my browser uh, that is fully integrated with SmartSuite on both fronts. So both on the back end, using the API, being able to pull records, update records, update the structure of SmartSuite and, or see the structure of SmartSuite and so on. And on the front end, where it can actually add UI buttons and elements into your browser environment, that, which includes SmartSuite. Um, now in the setup of the feature on the back end, the workflow that I set up, uh, I set up a command called partner video, which gets triggered when I hit shift command K, which we saw earlier. I then have this interface, uh, and if I take a look at the interface, you'll see that I have a URL field that is pre-filled and it grabs from the, uh, the, the URL of the page. I have a date selector, which I select manually, and then I have selected text, which grabs from the selected text. The next step I have over here is create a record. So once this information is entered, um, create a record is the next step. And in create a record, I have pre-filled the data that I want it to always pre-fill because I, I know I'm using this feature for partner videos. And then I have it dynamically updating the URL, the date, and the topic, which, which is the title of the record, and that's it. And so this feature took me minutes to set up and saves me hours every week. Um, hopefully this wasn't too advanced, uh, just, Figured I'd share this uh, a little bit of behind the scenes of how we actually internally use Ply and SmartSuite um, at SmartSuite. 
Uh, and I'd love to hear from you what other videos you want us to cover or what other topics you want us to cover in future episodes. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel so you don't miss a future sing a single future smart tip video. Thank you.